We're at lesson 7.3c, determining if a given value makes an inequality true. We can substitute a value into an inequality to decide whether it's a solution or not. For an equation, we substitute one given value to see if it makes the equation true. For an inequality, we will need to substitute each value since inequalities can have more than one solution. In real-world situations, a fraction of a number or a negative number may not make sense. So here's some examples. Sam had enough money to buy three and a half pairs of pants. We can't buy half a pair, so Sam bought three or less. Bill walked less than five miles. He walked a distance between zero and five miles. Distances are always positive numbers, so we can't say that Bill walked negative one, which is less than five, but it doesn't make sense because it's a distance, so it would be between zero and five. So, Bill walked less than five miles. The distance he walked is less than five. To graph this inequality, there would be two points and the area between them would be shaded. Bill walked an unknown distance, D, that was less than five miles, so five is not included, it was less than five. Now, Bill may have walked any distance less than five miles to zero miles. We use an open circle on five to show it's not included, and since miles are a distance and distances are never negative, zero is the least number. Sarah got a $50 gift card for her birthday. At a clothing store, a pair of socks cost $5, and a pair of pants cost $28. She wants to buy a pair of pants and several pairs of socks with her gift card. The inequality, 5 times some unknown amount of socks S plus 28 is less than 50, the amount on her gift card can be used to find S, the number of pairs of socks she can buy. We determine which, if any, of these values is a solution for S. Could S equal 3? Could S equal 4? Could S equal 5? To find if these values are a solution for S, we can substitute each number into the inequality to see if it makes the inequality true. We substitute 3 for S. We get 5 times 3 plus 28 is less than 50. We see this is a plus 28, so we do minus 28 from each side of the inequality sign. And we get 15 is less than 22. That's true. So 3 makes it true. It could be a solution. What about 4? Is S equal to 4? We do 5 times 4, which is 20. And we're going to remove this 28, this plus 28, by doing minus 28 minus 28. We get 20 is less than 22. And that's true. When we try 5, 5 times 5 is 25. And on this side, we have 22. 25 is not less than 22. That's false. 5 is not a solution. Sarah can buy 3 or 4 pairs of socks, but not 5. We can do 5s plus 28 is less than 50 and subtract 28 from each side. We get 5s is less than 22. Now we divide both sides by this coefficient 5, and we have the same numerator and denominator, 5 over 5, so we get 1s is less than 4 and 4 tenths. When we do 22 divided by 5, we get 4 and 4 tenths. So we know the number of pairs of socks she can buy has got to be less than four and four tenths. And since she can't buy four tenths of a pair of socks, four is the greatest number she can buy. We know the amount of pairs of socks she can buy is less than four and four tenths. And since Sarah can't buy a negative number of socks, zero is the least number she could buy. We can graph the pair of socks she can buy on a number line. We use a closed circle at 0 and a closed circle at 4 
to show they are included as numbers that will make the inequality true, we shade the graph between 0 and 4. Here it's telling us to circle any given values for t that make the inequality true. Is t equal to negative 3? Is it equal to negative 4? Is it equal to negative 5? We can solve this for t plus 10 is less than or equal to negative 6. We see plus 10, so we do minus 10 on each side of the inequality symbol, and we get 4t is less than or equal to negative 16. So remember, we created a zero pair here. By doing plus 10 minus 10, we eliminated this, and on this side, we did negative 6 plus a negative 10 is a negative 16. Now, with 4t is less than or equal to negative 16, we divide each side by this coefficient 4. Since 4t means 4 multiplied by some unknown number t, and that's multiplication, our inverse operation is going to be division. We do 4 divided by 4 and negative 16 divided by 4. Same numerator and denominator, so we have 1t is less than or equal to a negative 4. We have a negative and a positive, so when we do negative 16 divided by a positive 4, we get negative 4. Since t is less than or equal to negative 4, negative 4 and negative 5 make the inequality true. Negative 3 does not make the inequality true. Remember, as we move to the right on a number line, the values increase. They become greater in value. As we move to the left on a number line, the values decrease. They become less in value. We're finished with Module 7 now. We're going to be moving on to Module 8, which is about geometry. And for 8.1, we're going to learn about similar shapes and scale drawings. For 8.1a, we're going to do scale drawings and proportional reasoning. So remember, when we graph with an open circle, it means the number is not included. When we graph with a closed circle, it means that number is included. And also keep in mind in real world situations, a fraction of a number or a negative number may not make sense. We can't have half of a person. It wouldn't make sense. We would have to round down or round up. Have a great day and join me for Module 8. Bye.